Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use the Whimsical Diagrams custom GPT inside ChatGPT that you can use to explain, visualize concepts with flowcharts, mind maps and sequence diagrams. Alright, so before I would show an actual example on how to use the Whimsical Diagrams GPT, I just want to let you know that I have a full database of more than 10,000 custom GPTs categorized by more than 20 categories and you can also search the database by GPT name, description and more. If you want to get access to this free custom GPT database make sure to check out the link in the description below and you can also find some other free and paid resources related to AI and custom GPTs as well. Link to those in the description below. But now let's see how to use the Whimsical Diagrams. GPT inside ChatGPT. So to be able to use Whimsical Diagrams, you have to have a ChatGPT Plus sub subscription. If you have one, all you have to do is to click on Explore GPTs on the left here. Then, as you can see, it's currently it's a featured uh, GPT. But if you do not find it in the homepage of the GPT shop, you can search for Whimsical Diagrams. And as you can see, this is the GPT we want to use. So click on that and this would open up the GPT page where we're going to be able to start interact with this Whimsical Diagram custom GPT. As you can read here, it can create flowcharts, mind maps and sequence diagrams. So let's create now a flowchart but we will not even tell this GPT that we want to create a flowchart. It will find the best solution or the best visualization method for what we want. So I've come up with a prompt for this GPT. Illustrate the process uh, when a user lands on a website, then goes to purchase something on the website, including distinction points like if they already have an account with the website and so on and so forth. So as you can see, you can add steps to this concept you want to visualize, but you can just give some broad explanation of the process you want to visualize. And then this uh, Whimsical Diagrams GPT will do the rest. And then of course you can edit the diagram if you want to do that. But once you have added your prompt, just click on send message. And as you can see, this is the response we're getting from the Whimsical Diagrams GPT, fully illustrating the process of a user landing on a website. Da, 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 da. A flow chart is the most appropriate visualization format and then it will generate the flowchart. You have to allow Whimsical Diagrams to talk to Whimsical.com. So basically ChatGPT to be able to communicate with this service. So you can click on always allow and then you don't have to click on allow any more time. And as you can see the flowchart is being generated. You have to wait a couple of seconds and as you can see we get our diagram here cannot see it inside ChatGPT, but all we have to do is click on view or edit this diagram in Whimsical and this will open up the Whimsical.com website. And as you can see here is the flow chart we have received from Whimsical. We can, as you can see on the left here, edit the flow chart, add text, add new process steps and we can also zoom on the chart here on the left and as you can see this is the flow chart we got so the user lands on a website then there is a decision point whether he or she has an account. Then as you can see, find a product, add to cart, proceed to checkout, enter shipping and payment, review order, confirm purchase and so on and so forth. So all in all this is how you can use the Whimsical Diagram Custom GPT to create nice flowcharts and other visualization types. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you want to get access to the custom GPT database and other free ChatGPT and AI resources, make sure to check out the links in the description below. And if you want to learn more about ChatGPT, custom GPTs, ChatGPT plugins and other AI software, make sure to check out our YouTube channel and playlists because we have over a thousand free tutorials and also make sure to subscribe because we have more tutorials coming up.